Hi everybody, it's Denise here with another print to project. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make some layered prints that you don't have to wait around for. Like you know the usual creating layers on your gel plate, letting it dry, adding another layer and letting it dry. We're not doing that, we're just doing super quick and easy gel prints. You can knock these out in no time. So today I'm going to be using some Ranger products. I have my Ranger gel press plate. It's 9 by 11, which is a perfect size for your full sheets of paper. And I'm starting with some Dilutions paints in Lemon Zest. And I have this large bubble wrap that I'm just adding to get some texture to that print. And this is going to be our very first layer. And for these prints, I'm not going for anything complicated. These are just going to be your basic gel prints. And oh, and here we have some Dina Wakely paint in lime. And I'm going to do the same technique as I did with the lemon zest. And that's just adding the bubble wrap and pulling the print. Now when these are done, you may think they're not overly special and it's like big deal, but honestly, like they're so simple, but you'll see in part two, I really love how they look on the project. So sometimes less is more and the more simple it is, the better it can be for your project. So I ended up doing four sheets of paper. I was thinking I would need that many for my project and I really didn't. I think I used um, two sheets and that wasn't even all of it. So you don't need to make four prints. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having extra gel prints lying around for other projects though. There's one thing I love about the 9 by 11 it fully covers your regular sheet of paper, which is 8.5 by 11. So here I'm going in with some more Dilutions paint in the color Tropical Sangria. And this is a dilution stencil and it's called Boulders. And when I'm pulling the print, I'm not putting my sheet fully down. I'm just putting sections down onto the stenciled part. And when there's less left on the plate, then I put the full sheet down. And then we're going to get that as well, because why not? <laughs> I like the look of both the positive and the negative. So that is our second layer. For the third layer, I'm going in with another dilution stencil called Giraffe and some Dina Wakely turquoise paint. And again, same technique, just getting it down on parts of the paper. It's all about just building the layers. When you're doing the backgrounds, you don't need to be picky and precise about where your pattern is going because it's just a background. You're just creating something 
just something pretty for the background. It's not going to be your focal image, but you know, you want it to look nice, but it doesn't have to be in a particular pattern or design. So now I'm going in with some Dina Wakely Peacock Paint and another Dilution stencil called Quilts. And I wanted to push back the background a little bit, like it was a bit too bold for my liking. So I'm going in with a little more lemon zest paint and no stencil or anything. I'm just getting some of that on my paper to push back some of those stenciled layers. And then I'm going to do the same thing with some Dina Wakely white paint. This also gives it a little bit of a grungy look too, which you know I love. And if you look at the piece of paper and you find there's parts that you really don't like, don't worry about it because in the project you're cutting it up and you can choose to use sections that you do like. So don't worry about it if you're not loving the whole thing. And often I find like the full print, I didn't really care for any of these sheets to be honest when they were done like as a whole. But when they were cut up and used on the project, I really loved how it looked. So don't get disappointed and down on yourself if you're not loving your print. Just give it time and cut it up and then see how you like it. So now I'm going in with some more marine um, Dina Wakely paint and I'm taking one of her stamps and it is called Text and Scribbles. So instead of using ink, I'm using the paint to get some stamped images down. And now I have some Dilutions Black Marble Paint. And I'm using a Tim Holtz stencil called Numeric. I'm just getting rid of the paint that's beyond the stencil because I didn't want a harsh line. And I love how grungy this made the print look. I hadn't planned on doing that, but once I saw it, I'm like, yes. <laughs> so I'm just doing the same thing again so I can get more on the rest of my prints. And that is it for our prints. And like I said, they may not look like much right now, 
but I will promise you join me on Boxing Day for part two, and I think you will like how the project turned out. Until then, bye.